Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Muhammad Fatunwa and I am from Islamic State University of Maulana Malik Ibrahim Malang from Faculty of Science and Technology majoring in Mathematics. And my student ID number is 2006011106. And in this video, uh, I will present you about the result of my discussions with my friends, of course, uh, in the subject of philosophy. But previously, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to share this video too, uh, to support me to get a better assessment. Thank you. Let's get started. Islamization of science according to Syed Naquib Alatas. The first point is the biography of Syed Muhammad Naquib Alatas. Syed Muhammad Naquib bin Ali bin Abdullah bin Muhsin bin Muhammad Alatas, or well known as Syed Muhammad Naquib Alatas, was born on September 5, 1931, in Bogor, West Java. In the official genealogy of the Naquib Alatas family, has found an indication that he is the 37 descendants of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alatas is a great person, is a great man also in the philosophy's world. His, education, his educational background is he was graduated from Madrasa Ala Urwatul Wutko in Sukabumi and then he continued his study to get a bachelor degree at the Malaya University in Malaysia and then he got master degree at the Institute of Islamic Studies in McGill University, Montreal, Canada. And then he got doctoral degree at School of Oriental and African Studies in the University of London. His achievement is one, he produced a lot of scientific work. And the second, he is a founder of higher education institution called the International Institute of Islamic Thought and Civilizations, or ISTAC, in Kuala Lumpur, which focuses on researching Islamic and Western civilization thought. And the second is the thoughts about Islamization. According to Alatas, the Islamization of science is a process of liberating knowledge from magical, mythological, sectarian influence from nationalism and Western style cultural secularism so that it becomes a science that is uniquely Islamic. Here, the modern of our contemporary science is the most influenced by the secularizations of Western culture. Alatas also have thought in this that the modern science is having a big effect to the society and the development of the science in the future. So that it the Islamization in this science is very important for the Civilizations of Islam too. And the result of previous thoughts. The first is view on Islamic epistemology. The decline of Islamic science is closely related to the very low consciousness of Muslim epistemology. The most of modern science, which are based on dichotomous characteristics by the West, has also become the major problems which to further witness to the epistemological awareness of Muslims. And then the second is the view on the westernization. The westernization here means the efforts to purify Islamic teachings from all Western values and influence. So Alatas had thought that the modern science which contains Western secularization must be reformulated with Islamic so it won't lose its spiritual values and teachings. And then the conceptions of Islamization. The result of Alata's thoughts have given birth to new conceptions and ideas in educational work so that the objectives of the Islamization process become clearer and more accurate. And here's the result of the conceptions. The first is, is the ideas about humans. Humans are living creatures who can think using common sense and have a conscience so that they can distinguish between truth, truth and falsehood from uh, science itself. Humans must realize that everything and knowledge that exists comes from God and must be used as a form of worship to God. The second is the ideas about the meaning of education. 
Islam defends education through three themes. They are Tarbiyah, Ta'dib, and Ta'lim. According to Alatas, Ta'dib is the most appropriate theme because Ta'dib has fulfilled the most important elements that is needed in education, namely knowledge, teaching, and good counseling, also moral formation. The third is the ideas about Islamic educational goals. From the Alatas' point of view, the purpose of Islamic education is to instill kindness in a person as an individual and as a part of a larger society as well. Ideally, he hopes to produce many more human beings who are good in moral and wise, honest personality, having a broad insight, views, and reflect the exemplary behavior of the Prophet Muhammad And then the fourth is the ideas about Islamic educational system. The education system stated by Alatas intends to present Islam and to teach it in the educational process itself, which is not only religious science but also rational, intellectual, and philosophical science. In short, the current education system must be recreated by integrating religious knowledge with existing modern science. And then the fifth and the last, the ideas about science. According to Alatas, the definition of science from the view of Epistemology means the arrival of a meaning into the soul and vice versa. The meaning here means the correct meaning in accordance with the Islamic view that has been described by the conceptual system of Al-Quran. As a result, al has grouped those science into two parts which are Fardu'ain which includes religious science such like Al-Quran, Sunnah, Sharia, Theology, Sufism, and Linguistics. And the second is Fardu Kifaya who study rational intellectual philosophical science such like human natural science applied science and technological science and then the list is the implications in education institutions or we know as ISTAC there are two implications the first is implications in the Islamic education world the purpose of Islamic education is directed at producing quality human resource, quality in the intellectual field, and the most basic is the moral religious that always guide it. And the second is implications in formulating the Islamic education curriculum. The form and the formulation of the curriculum here must contain the meaning and nuance of defined values, which should not be understood in a dichotomous form, namely, allocating time for a specific discipline discipline in discussing the issue of values. However, the socialization process can be approached with the content of all disciplines thought, with the soul and spirit of Islamic morality and morals. And the third is implications in the method of Islamic education. The teaching methodology of education is more like a learning process than just a teaching process. Besides the intellectualization process, there is also a process of inculturation. Okay, thank you. I think that's all for my presentations. For divisions, I do have my apology. And if you have any questions, please write down your questions at the comment below. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.